Hey everybody, today I'm gonna to give you a review of the um, 42 to 48 inch bagger for a Husqvarna mower. Uh, the cool thing is, is that I actually got this, uh, the generic version of it from Walmart, but the cool thing about it is, it's actually made by Husqvarna. So if you search, and I'll, and I'll put a link in the, uh, in the description of the video, but if you actually search for the model number, um, the generic one is, is an OEM product. So uh, you can save yourself about 50 bucks by doing that. I'm gonna give you a quick, uh, overview of, of how this thing works and uh, what, what I like about it. So the install is actually fairly easy on this, as you can see. So it comes with four bolts here that you put these in uh, to the uh, actual, there's um, pre-drilled holes in the back of your mower. And then it comes with this bracket, basically just slide this bracket over the holes and, um, and then you can mount the, uh, the bagger. So as you can see right here, um, this is how I know it's <laughs> obviously made by Husqvarna, but as you take it out of the generic box, you'll find that. And it was a, definitely a pleasant surprise uh, to see that. So that's what it looks like with the mount on there. And then you just basically pick up your bagger, put it on the back there, and uh, connect it down here with these bungee cords. One there, one there. And then you do have to, um, depending on which size uh, deck you have, you may have to um, put this additional adapter on, but the, uh, the kit comes with it. So the way it works is when you have your um, mower actually cutting, it has enough force that it'll blow all the grass up this tube and into the catch basins here. They are pretty quickly removable, just like that. The, um, the manual says that you always want to have this one overlapping this one because as this fills up, it'll kind of pour into that one. Um, but like I said, very easy to remove and, and dump those out. So overall, this thing does a great job in collecting the grass that you want it to do. Um, the two downsides that I've come across, and the first one is there's this little spinning thing here. And it's supposed to tell you if it's spinning, then it's uh, blowing grass into the uh, catch uh, buckets and if it's not then it's full but I've noticed that this actually doesn't really spin so I always kind of just like throw my hand back and give this a little hit to see if there's anything in it the second downside is since these are um, like see-through there's a lot of dust that collects uh, kind of in the seat area so and I've noticed that like, my phone in my pocket it gets very dusty over time. But overall, um, I like this thing. I think it's great. And uh, it's definitely $50 cheaper if you get the generic versus the uh, the brand, name, brand named Husqvarna. Um, but it is made by Husqvarna.